Hey everyone, Mike McClellan here to talk uh, wintertime jig fishing with Bass Resource. And uh, to me, if there was one bait that I could tie on in the winter and go out and throw for eight hours a day, it would definitely be a jig. And uh, the reason for that is, I mean, when you get into those winter months of the year, I mean, there's going to be resident fish that live relatively shallow that you can catch on a jig, but typically your fish are going to be grouped up. They're going to be relatively deep. They're not going to be very aggressive. And uh, what better bait is there to fish slow and uh, lethargically than a jig? You know, the biggest thing about wintertime jig fishing is uh, you got to kind of think through your application in the specific jig that you want to use. You know, typically everything that I throw in the winter is going to become much more finessey. Uh, to me, those fish, they're not very active. They're not going to want to move a lot. So I'm going to throw a lot of finesse jigs. And, uh, you know, typically I'm going to be throwing heavier jigs in the winter than I'm going to be throwing any other time of the year. Um, typically five eighths, three quarter, one ounce. I'm either going to throw a, a little Bassex, uh, you know, ball head style jig or I'm typically going to throw a football jig and trailers are another thing that become really really specific in the winter time. Fish don't necessarily want a lot of action in a trailer in my opinion in in the winter. Um, you know it's that time of the year where uh, they're just not moving around a lot and uh, you know nothing in the water column is. That's the one thing that we always as anglers have to equate to things is as the water temperatures get colder, you know, everything in the water column slows down. The brim slow down, the shad slow down. Nothing is moving very fast. So, you know, a real finesse, small compact style jig is something that you want to keep your mind on. You know, a twin tail trailer is a super good trailer, big bite twin tails. A uh, little big bite uh, three inch fighting frog is another one of the uh, trailers that I love to use in the fall. Uh, kamikaze craw is a good bait, but uh, again in the winter time on a heavier, deeper jig, that little uh, sensation quarantine craw, you know, something real finessey, something that I can get down there, shake around in their face, have a little added scent to uh, generate some bites is really, really key. Typically in the winter, you'll still catch some fish on, on points, you'll still catch fish in, in a variety of different situations. But a lot of times in the winter time, I really like to focus on the creek channels themselves and even a lot of bluffs. I mean, in the winter on the, our Ozark lakes, I mean, you can go out and, you know, just about pick any bluff on the lake that's got bait on it. Now, I'm, I'm not saying you can pick any bluff on the lake. You've got to use your electronics, find where the bait is. But once you establish where the bait is, what depth it's at, you're going to typically catch some fish on a jig in the winter. And... Uh, Wintertime fishing is uh, probably that one time a year that I am going to size things down. I mean, I'm going to drop back. I'm going to use my Sunline Sniper. Like I said, it's a lot more softer. It's more pliable. It just works better in the wintertime. A lot of times I'll throw 10, 12, 14, 16 pound tests depending on the type of cover that I'm fishing around and things of that nature. But uh, generally, you don't want to put a lot of action in your jig. It's a lot of, you know, either fishing a jig directly around a brush pile, in the timber, just around bait balls, things of that nature, and fishing a jig extremely slow. And a lot of times when you find fish in the winter, I mean, they're really gonna be grouped up. I mean, once you catch one, you might sit there and catch 10, 12, 15, 20 fish out of one school. And uh, jig is definitely something that uh, comes into play. Uh, football jig is another thing that I'm gonna utilize. You know, generally, Five eighths is about as small a football jig as I'm going to throw in the winter. I'll throw up to a three quarter, one ounce football jig, and and I'll play with my colors quite a bit. You know, a lot of times in the winter, everything becomes a little bit muted as far as colors. So a lot of times in the uh, winter, I'll use a peanut butter and jelly, uh, more of a pumpkin seed colored skirt, things like that. A lot of times can generate more bites in the winter and. Uh, I just really believe that a jig is one of those baits that if I could only pick up one bait and have anything to throw in the wintertime, it would definitely be a jig.